This morning, I'd like to talk to you all about owning Chinese companies as a U.S. investor. I think that we will probably see more about this in the coming weeks, months, and years. I know you're probably thinking, I don't own any Chinese companies as a U.S. investor. But as of September 19th of this year on S&P Global's website, it said that 264 com- Chinese or Hong Kong-based companies were listed on the three largest U.S. exchanges. The thing you should know is that Chinese laws actually restrict and prohibit direct investment into Chinese companies, particularly in areas like technology. So how do they end up on U.S. exchanges? Typically, this happens through what is called a variable interest entity. A VIE gives you an interest in the entity, but not by direct ownership. It's done through a series of controlling agreements. Often people think this is exactly the same thing, but I want you to pause when I flash this from the SEC website. Let's read this together. A U.S. listed company and its China-based VIE might appear to be the same company because they are presented in a consolidated manner, but they are not. The U.S. listed company's control over the China-based company is predicated entirely on the contracts with the China-based company, not equity ownership. If either the China-based company or its officers, directors, or Chinese equity owners breach those contracts with the U.S. listed shell company, or Chinese law changes in a way that affects the enforceability of these arrangements, or those contracts are otherwise not enforceable under Chinese law, the U.S. investor may suffer significant losses with little or no recourse available. This whole page is devoted to educating you all as investors and people that are learning to be good with money. Search it up. Know what you own. Always know what you own.